Hey YouTube, this is a second installment of uh, the Schwinn Axum DP for uh, 2021. This is the, the second video. Um, I have made some modifications to the bike. Um, first thing that I did, it was mentioned in the first video, uh, was the addition of the uh, carbon, uh, carbon water bottle cage. I also converted the bike over to tubeless with the stock rims. Uh, some stands uh, rim tape and um, the stands uh, the stands tubeless uh, sealant. I added these uh, blue blue valve stems got a little accent of color uh, to the bike. Uh, it was a, a bear to get those things to um, to uh, seat the, the beads. I even took it to to a bike shop and um, here locally and they were not able to do it. I finally was able to uh, get it accomplished with a, um, a uh, string of uh, zip ties all the way around the, uh, the outside uh, circumference of the, uh, of the tires. And um, since this is a Schrader style uh, valve stem, pulled the, the inner stem out of there and with a blowgun was able to seat the, uh, uh, seat the bead then add the sealant and then um, blow them up. Uh, the first one went flat after 24 hours, but I did it again and so far it's held for the last few days. So it looks like we've uh, passed that hurdle. The next um, modifications that I did was I changed the, the drivetrain. Um, it comes with a, a one by eight drivetrain. Um, Axe, I believe is the, the name of it. And now it's got Sh Shimano Dior one by 11 speed. Right now I'm still running the stock cranks. I've got a set of um, a Shimano uh, one by cranks in the mail. They should be here soon. But the 11 speed drivetrain is pretty slick. Um, I forgot what gear ratio I'm running in the back, but uh, there's, the, there's the rear derailleur. Um, it has the, um, the, what you call it, the clutch uh, lever here. And uh, I can put it back where it was at. So far it's shifting okay. Um, but um, I'm really pleased with, uh, with the group set so far. Um, also added some uh, some plastic pedals or the, the polymer uh, platform pedals. I forget what brand they are. They came from uh, from Amazon. I just clicked on on uh, chose the ones that, uh, that I like. I like the color of and the looks of them to add them to the bike. Um, also added these um, these grips. They're Marquee and Marque brand. Uh, I think they're probably about 12 bucks. They weren't expensive. I'm not going to put a link down below, but uh, so far they, they they suit me just fine. Then uh, finally I added a, a blue stand. This one is called, uh, let's see, Pro Han San. Never heard of it, but it looks pretty cool. And let's hope it holds up. Here's a view of the other, of the other grip against my, my toolbox. Uh, future upgrades, um, I've got a fork ordered 120 millimeter travel. It is a Bolani uh, branded fork. Um, ordered it today. It's supposed to be here in a few weeks. I guess it's coming from China. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Modifications to the bike. I did weigh it as I made the, uh, the modifications and um, the stock weight that I had right off the bat was uh, 35.72 pounds and then I did the tubeless option with the tubeless modifications it dropped it to 34 and a half pounds and when I added the grips the stem the Shimano Dior group set and the pedals it bumped it back up to 35.06 uh, once I get that fork on, I imagine that's, that number is going to drop drastically uh, because this uh, front fork is a pig. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So anyway, I just wanted to share the upgrade so far. Um, it rides really good. Um, it rides, uh, it's very responsive and, and ro rolls fast with, uh, with the tubeless option. So we'll see how it does with the new cranks that are coming. The, uh, the new forks also. Oh, and by the way, I'm also getting the, uh, some um, hydraulic brakes that are um, going to be coming later this week. But anyway, stay tuned, and I'll give you an update whenever I get those other parts put on. Thanks.